Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we are gonna be planning my new home decor for 2024. Okay, so when I say new home, no, me and my husband have not gone out and purchased a new house, but I will be redecorating some spaces in my home that will make it feel new to me. And this is what I like to do whenever I feel bored with a space or it's just not giving me the vibe that I want anymore. I will go in and redecorate it and it will feel like a completely new room. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do and then maybe you can use some of these tips if you're looking to design your new space. All right, so the very, very first thing before I even start a design, we gotta look at the budget. This is the part that's not fun because we don't wanna be on a budget. We just wanna buy what we wanna buy. But we wanna be responsible with our finances, so we do wanna start with a budget in mind. So look over your finances, see what it is that you can afford, how much you can plan on putting into this new space. So then it'll give you an outline whenever we do get ready to start purchasing items. All right, so we're done with the budget. Get the budget out of the way. Yeah, we don't like that part. But now comes the fun part. So what we wanna do is get inspired. So if you're just looking for some new inspiration for your room, or you're not even sure of the design style that you like or that you're going for, go on Pinterest, type in living room design or bedroom design, whatever type of room that it is that you're doing, and just start getting inspired by the millions of photos that you'll find on Pinterest. Now, if you are unsure about design styles, I will leave a list here. So these are all the different type of design styles that you can look up and you can see if they are for you or not. So you can easily type in eclectic living room and then you'll see what that looks like and then you can say, Yes or no, that is absolutely not my style. So once you determine your style, now type in that style of room that you're trying to design and pin about 10 to 15 pictures or so. This will give you an overall glance at the things that you like because when you see these pictures, you might like a mirror in this picture or a sofa in this picture. You may not like the overall room, but you can take elements from each photo and put it together to create your perfect space. All right, so now we're ready. We have our budget and we have our style that we're going for. So now what you wanna do is go into the room that you're looking to design and we wanna take some quick measurements. So just get some uh, overall width and length of the room so that way you'll know exactly what it is that you're looking for. For instance, if your room is 10 feet long, then we don't wanna get a 10 foot sofa because we know that would be too large. So measurements are extremely important when designing a room to make sure that the furniture will fit nicely. And so for this part of the design, I'm going to reveal to you guys my number one tool whenever I am designing a room. This has helped me design room for clients and for myself. It gives me an overall visual of what the space could look like and the actual size of furniture down to a T. I'm a visual type of person and if you're a visual type of person and you need to see exactly what it is gonna look like, this is for you. So my secret weapon is Homestyler. Homestyler.com is a website that you can go to. It is absolutely free and you can design a space within their app. So this is a design website that allows you to put in the measurements of your room, uh, different sizes of furniture. You can even map out flooring, colors on the wall. It allows you to see everything. I absolutely love this. And whenever I'm working with a client and I'm able to send them a rendering of what their room would look like, they absolutely love it. If you're a visual person like me and you wanna see, man, what is this gonna look like? Or what will my room look like with blue walls? Or what would it look like with pink walls or whatever it is? Home Styler is absolutely what you need. So if you're looking for a great tool when it comes to interior decorating and design, this is the one. All right, so we got our Pinterest board, we got our room all laid out, and now we are ready to start purchasing. But you have no idea where to start or where to find these items that you've seen on Pinterest. So what I love to use for this is Google Lens. So to use Google Lens, you're going to take a screenshot of maybe the Pinterest photo that you liked, or let's just say you found a sofa online somewhere that you like. You're gonna take that screenshot, you're gonna put it into Google Lens, and then Google Lens will spit you out all of the websites that carry a sofa that looks like that image. 
Y'all, Google Lens is gold to finding anything. <laughs> I have used it for fashion items. If I see someone in fashion with a bag that I like and I don't know what type of bag this is or where they purchased it from, I will take a screenshot of that bag, put it in Google Lens and Google Lens will tell me this is where it is and this is how much it costs and it is absolutely a fabulous tool and I use it all the time. And y'all already know another one of my favorite websites when it comes to home decor is Amazon. Sometimes people overlook Amazon because they might think that the things are not great quality, but that is absolutely untrue. Amazon has some great quality items from light fixtures to home decor to even furniture. I have shown you a lot of my home decor items that I have purchased from Amazon that I absolutely love. So start there because it will also give you a wide variety at different price ranges. So I'm just going to talk about real quick what some of my plans are for my new home here in 2024. So I'm going to be tackling my main living space. I have a open concept design. So my living room, kitchen and dining room are all together. And I really don't feel like I have done anything great to this space. I did paint my kitchen cabinets a couple of years ago, uh, but the living room has some elements that I like. I did the fireplace. The dining room is just a no-go all the way. So I'm going to be creating a whole new design for this whole entire area. So y'all be sure to stick around because these designs I have coming up as well as some others for the rest of the year. I cannot wait to get started. I love decorating y'all. This is just it's just what I love to do and hopefully these tips help you so if you're looking to design a room in your home you can start with everything that I told you and it will help you follow through all the way to the end and you can bring your vision to life and if you guys have any questions about anything that I mentioned here in this video today then go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below and if you enjoy interior decorating and DIY then be sure to subscribe to the channel also follow me over on Instagram and TikTok is that it? Yeah, I'm all I'm all over the internet, but y'all follow me. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another video and I will see you on the next one.